Howdy. First, I want to say it is a privilege for me to be speaking here at the short course. I never thought that would happen. Um, but I'm here to share with you our experience with an inspector's tool that we had the opportunity to use through a pilot program called Headlight. So um, what I'm going to be talking about is a Headlight overview. What is Headlight? Um, Headlight pilot program, how did the pilot program work and how did we use it in our area office? The construction project description. I'm just going to go briefly through the description of the project and why it was uh, selected for this pilot program. And I'm going to share our experience utilizing the program Headlight and I'm going to share some of the text.employees employees quotes of everybody who participated in the, this pilot program. So what is Headlight? Headlight is a software system that allows inspectors to record observations collected in the field and produce daily reports documentation using mobile technology designed to make project inspection and documentation easier for field personnel. So it's, um, it's a way of doing DWRs, daily work report, easier than with site manager. You have an iPad, you're in the field, and you're able to record all the observations while you are out there in the field. This program has three functions. One is for the mobile client or the field personnel. One is for the web client or the office personnel and a web service. Um, for, the, I'm sorry. for the field personnel, you, have, uh, you use the iPad. And in that iPad, you have access to the dashboard, which is mainly like a home screen and you get to see information of the project you are located, the reports you have written, uh, temperature. I'm, I'm going to go more into details later when we share our experience. We have the observation, which is the tools that the inspector uses the most, where they can either use pictures or videos or text or voice recording to document the activities that are happening in the field. They can generate documents using those observations, and they have an inspector toolkit that would include plan sets, specifications, special provisions, and any other document that will help them do a better inspection of the project. For the office personnel, which I was part of the office personnel in this pilot program, we are able to see all the feed of all the observations that the inspectors are doing. We are able to see all the documents, we also can do search capabilities. We can do a keyword word and find information. We can approve uh, documents and report. And we can also generate different type of reports based on dates, based on activities, based on, on different kind of information. And then you have the web services. Web services synchronize and integrates all the data between the mobile and the office. So if you are in the field using your iPad and you take a picture of the activity that is happening in your project, I am at the office and I can see that picture immediately. If you are in a location where you don't have internet access, immediately the iPad will record the information and as soon as in your an area where you have internet access, it will synchronize with the web uh, services and you'll get to see that information. Uh, for this headlight pilot program, our office uh, was selected. Also, there were other several offices in the Houston district to participate. It was for a period that lasted four weeks. We started last year in October 21st, and it went all the way until November 14th. Seven employees in our office were given access to headlight. We had three inspectors, which was a good selection of them because we had inspectors with less than five years experience. We had inspectors that had about 15 years experience. And we had an inspector that had more than 25 years experience. So we saw them work with this uh, software. People that are used to uh, site manager, people that are still learning some of the things, and compare site manager with the pilot program headline. So we were able to see that different in their experience. We also had the project manager, the bookkeeper, the area engineer, and the assistant area engineer. Uh, the three inspectors were provided with iPads for the duration of the pilot program. 
And I need to say that one of the inspectors had never used an iPad before, and he was able to use it the next day after the presentation. It, it was pretty easy to use. During this time, we still needed to meet our requirements of using Site Manager. So we still needed to record all the information, all the diaries, all the daily work report, the personnel, the equipment. So for that, we had a person from the construction division help us with that. He will take all the reports from the daily work reports done in headlights and pass it into Site Manager. So Frank Mayfield, if you're around here, thank you very much. A brief description of the project. This project was in, it is still currently going. It's in I-45 in the Gulf Freeway. It is approximately $77 million, and it, the length is about five miles. The scope of this project is actually to widen and reconstruction I-45. It goes from six existing main lanes to 10 main lanes. And in the frontage road from two existing frontage road lanes in each direction to three. And also we have a high occupancy vehicle lane. The contractor for this project is William Brothers. The good thing about this project is, is it has several things happening at the same time. We're not just focusing on one activity, on one inspection. We have different inspection, different activities um, on the same day. This also ha is a project that have nighttime work. So we had inspectors doing their observation, daytime, nighttime, at various locations throughout the limits of the project. Now we're gonna share, um, I'm gonna share about our experience using Headlight. This was the main page where we would sign in. So I mentioned earlier about the dashboard. The dashboard was a tool that was great for the inspectors because if you can see, let me see if I'm not shaking that much. <laughs> and I can show you in this area over here, they will be able to see if their reports have been approved or if they have any other notifications. You can also see the weather for the day and you can see the plan of the program and the locations where you have done any observations. And this was actually, I found out that was a good tool that the project manager used to make sure that all the activities in the project were being covered. He knew that the inspector was out there making his, his or her observations and making them part of the report. Also, um, you can see in the observations, they ha the inspector had the opportunity to put priorities to their observations and their report, and you will be able to see it in that part of the dashboard. The observation was the best tool the inspectors had in this headlight program. Um, many of you know who have used Sign Manager know that at the end of the day, after you have finished most of your activities, you go to the field office or you go to your truck or you go to the office and you write all the activities that happen during the day, which the contractor, the subcontractor, the equipment, the personnel. However, with a headlight, we have this observation that allows the inspector while in the field to be making those notes. They have the iPad and they, maybe we are in station, let's say 268 plus 00. So they just have to take a picture of that location to remember that that's the location where they are. And they can, with that picture, they can put a little comment and say paving. And then they'll remember later if they want to add additional information. If they want to take a video, maybe because there's something they are not sure, or maybe they're using a video to show other inspectors because recently ha we have many new inspectors because elder in inspectors are being retiring. So it's a good tool also to teach others how to inspect um, an activity. Um, beside photo observations and video observations, you can do audio observations. Um, you see here the icon for the equipment. We need, as inside manager, we need to enter the equipment for the contractor. Well, while, while the inspector is out there in the field, they just have to click on that touch 
that equipment observation and enter the equipment the contractor is using, how many they have, or if it is on site but they are not using it. It also gives you the opportunity, which this is a uh, print screen, but if you would be able to go further in this arrow, you can see that you can also choose uh, the weather or you can choose temperature, materials. I don't know how it works in some of your office, but sometimes we have one person trying to get the weather for everybody, so everybody has the same, or one person will go to NOAA, another person will go to weather.com. But here, it, within the same program, within the headlines, you just have to touch it, and it will mark what is the weather you have that day. For example, we have this observation. This, um, this print screen is the observation tab for the person in the office. The person in the office is able to see all the observation that the inspectors are doing. I can see here uh, Mr. Whitaker or Mr. Richardson, and these are the observations they are doing, and you can see by hour, by time, they can either be a photo, it can be a text, they also have this opportunity, this little watch here will tell what time the contractor started the work, what time they leave. So all the information that we generally enter into site manager at the end of the day, when they are tired and they wanna go home, you can do it on the field immediately by taking a picture, by just writing a quick sentence and it make it so much easier. And we notice we got a lot more information than what we get when we are writing a DWR. This is an example of a picture observation. So after the inspector have taken the picture observation, we are able to see the picture, for example, if that inspector didn't have time to check the personnel, he just took a picture, okay, for this subcontractor tying the steel for this drill shaft, I can see that they had six employees, and I can document already the six employees. At the same time, we have here, every time you take a picture, it will save the time of the day that, that you took the picture, the location, and who was the inspector who took that information. And it gives you the, the opportunity to write a description if you want to write additional details. So it is a great tool. And our inspectors, at, by the end of the program, they were so sad that they couldn't do it that way anymore because going through site manager is not as easy as using the program headlight. This is an example of the observations for equipment. Maybe it's a little bit light, but you are able to write um, the name of the subcontractor or the contractor, whoever is working. And for each equipment, you can put the description of the equipment, how many are they have on site, how many they are using. And you have all the information. All the information, again, that is required in site manager, we save it just being out there in the field and just clicking in a few places. It makes it so much easier. Another tabs that we have that we can use is the documents. The documents, after the inspector have taken all the observations, which sometimes they can take 15, 20, sometimes it can be five, depending on the activities they are inspecting, they can select those observations to generate a report. They can choose them all, but they can select the ones that they think if they took more pictures that they thought were necessary, it doesn't mean that the program is going to delete the pictures, but they will not be part of the, of the report the document is generating. One thing I love about this portion is, for example, if we have a claim and we're using site manager DWR to go back and get the information, you have to go by inspector and scroll down, find, find, find the date, if it is not on that day, you have to scroll down, find the other day, it was not that inspector, you have to go back, find the inspector. Here, it's so much easier. You go to this day, and you see all the reports, 
that were prepared on that day. If, I, if it's not there, I just see the next one. It's so much easier to access the information of the activities that are happening in the project or that happened maybe a year ago and you don't remember as well, but using these reports, it's so much easier to find it. This is an example of our, one of the reports generated using headline. This is only one page out of, out of six. But if you can see, it will have the CSJ number, what day uh, of the week was it, the day. You'll see what time uh, the contractors start working, what was the temperature, and observations are placed there by time of the day. So you're able to see everything that you ha generally have in the DWR Insight Manager, but in in a more complete way, in, a, in an easier way to be accessed. Also, uh, the report will include at the end of the six pages, well, I saw one of the reports was 18, because they were so eager to take pictures and document everything that you will see every picture individually at the end of the, of the report. So you have more information, more documentation of what is happening in the field, but a lot easier just by touching the screen. You want to take a picture, you just touch the screen and it's there. Of course, you can take a picture with a smartphone and then email it and send it to your project or put it in your project file, but you have to email it or you have to, you have to send it somewhere. You have to attach it to site manager. Here, you just take a picture and it becomes automatically part of your documentation. So it is so much easier. Another tool um, or another of the application that this program has is the Inspector Toolkit. It gives you the opportunity, it's like a Dropbox system that you can access the plan sets, you can access the specs, the special provisions. So it makes it so much easier for the inspector as well, it, well with an iPad, right? You can you get the plan set on your hands without having to carry the hard paper copy. You just have an iPad, you're watching one activity, you are inspecting one item, and you have everything you need there. It's a lot less things to carry besides carrying your cones and your air meters and all the things you have to carry to inspect your activities in the field. Another uh, great application that this program provides you that site manager actually doesn't provide you is a search by keyword. If you are looking for an item, if you are looking for a date, if you are looking for an activity, for a location, you just have to write it. And it will search all the documents that include that keyword. And if you are trying to look back maybe additional information for a change order, that will make it a lot easier. If you're looking information for a claim, it will make it a lot easier. So the search key is something that will facilitate and your work and will minimize the time you're expending looking for an information of something that happened in a project a few months ago or last year or maybe a couple years ago. One thing that uh, also I want to mention about these, uh, going back to the observations, is that it's really good if you have force account. Because in force account, you have to be checking every item, every person, every equipment, and you have the picture for it, and it has the time of the day. So you have all the information available by just taking a few observations, video or pictures. And now I want to share with you some of the quotes for um, other employees that use this program. In reference to how much time saving headlight would save for inspectors, a few hours a day. Just sitting down to write a DWR at the end of the day. When I was an inspector, I didn't want to connect the laptop inside the truck, so I wrote the required information. Though, don't go into much in detail, as it is at the end of the day you want to go home. But with headline, just take a picture and it becomes part of your observations. It's much easier. This was a project engineer. 
this other quote is by an inspector. If you lag by one DWR, the next day you're gonna have to catch up, which is difficult. Headlight completely takes the worry out. Another comment is, this is from a, another project inspector. I was comfortable with headlight the day after the presentation. I was comfortable with taking pictures and videos. I was able to read emails and all the next day. And this was from another project engineer. Headlight will help me in claims. So I don't know what is Textile Plans, and maybe Roxana eventually can give you more information about it, but it is a great tool. It is a great tool for inspectors. It is a great tool to have additional information of what is happening in your projects, and it's so easy to get that information and to have it as part of your project, of your documents, of your file for that project. So um, hopefully, Textile will be using that program, uh, but it, if not, it was a great experience for our inspectors, and we can have hope. <laughs> I use as a reference a document created by several, uh, a collaboration between the Pavia group, which they did the program, and Textile employees. 